I have finished my homemade 30 inch joint and built it based on Matthias Wandel's plan. I didn't shot videos at the first half of the process, but I can explain it through pictures. If you want to homemade something, you must first know what cannot be homemade. I get my three knives, 30 inch cut head for my previous sickness planner. I also reused the bearing seats, pulleys, belt, motor, and a switch from the older planner. A piece of iron is used to prevent the bearing from coming out. It has a smaller hole than the bearing outer diameter. Let's take a look at uh, the installation of the bearing seats. The bearing seats are casting iron. I cut the useless corners. There is a block be placed between two feet so the bearing seats can be moved right and left. And the foot has a M8 thread hole on both sides of the button. I screwed a short thread rod into there uh, through the hole on the wooden frame. Then I lock it with a nut. There are two boards behind and uh, up against uh, the bearing block. I think it's helpful to increase its stability. When I turn the shaft, I find it's not too smooth. Uh, I think this may be caused by the two bearing seats are not uh, parallel enough. I used the clamp to test my gas and then it did. So I drilled through these two holes and, and inserted the two thread rods for parallelism adjustment with nuts. There is a pair of nuts on each side. One is used for adjustment, uh, the other one is for locking. So two thread rods have four adjustable positions for parallelism adjustment. And finally it becomes smooth. After the completion of the frame building work, I started to make the lifting mechanism of infeed table. I used the template to drill the holes on links of the parallelogram magnetism for accuracy and it works well. The key is the slightly bigger hole for thread rod when you crank it. Because the thread rod is not always in a horizontal position when the magnetism to rise and lower the input table. I piled up to 16mm plywood and a 4mm board to glue them together for a 36mm thickness. Then use two aluminum to ensure flat. I had to widen the table because I made a mistake in table size. I transferred the positions of drilling the thread horse with four dower center seams and punched the table to leave marks on the bottom. The horse are on the side so the thread rod can be screwed in and tighten it. Stick an aluminum membrane to resist moisture. The tricky part is to tighten the knot, you have to be careful. My motor is an induction motor. My way to tension the belt is to move the motor by crank here. The motor is so heavy, it mounts on the plywood with two pieces of wood for sliding. The knot is installed on the wooden seat and the seat is placed as close as possible to the pulley.
I added the two shims on the bottom of the plywood base so the movement of the magnet is not very resistant. When you tension the belt, you can tighten the sled with two bolts from the bottom of the joint. Ready, go! The next thing to do is making hand well. Choose an uh, undersized bit for drilling thread hole on well. It works. Making the belt for tightening the sled. First test. Almost as much as I thought, I got excited, making dust proof baffle. Because the whole board cannot be inserted, I cut it into two pieces. Now I put a plywood on the frame to mount the hard feed table. I shamed the wood to prevent shavings from falling into the motor box. I screwed four thread rods into this undersized horse. Two nuts on each corner clamp the plywood on the joint frame to adjust the height individually. 
I added the two 3mm galvanized iron plates on the tables. I adjusted the nuts to let the table parallel to the plate and let it in at the same height. Then I put two pieces of, of aluminum to check the parallelism of the outfit table and the infit table. I raised the infit table as high as the blade. The result I want to achieve is that two tables become one plane. Here is a little low. After several adjustments, the tables become very ideal. The spring pulling a pulley helps to retain the guard. Although the pulley with the T-knot can be locked on the boat by a second knot below it, I reinforced it with epoxy. I used a, a half round knot to reduce friction. My fence was cut from a MDF outdoor floor. It's hollow inside. I glued some plywood for better nail gripping ability. All the materials I used are cheap. I painted it to, to get a nice look or to hide the ugly plywood. The switch is from the old planner. It has an overload protection function. Here is the recovering button. My 16 inch joint has a 15.5 centimeter effective whites and uh, my homemade one is 32 centimeter. Now I'm able to plan wide lumber. very flat Also quite well.